Okay, hi there, and welcome to another Synoptic video. Uh, foreign direct investment is a hugely important economic variable for both developing and developed countries. And so let's look at some of the micro and macro factors possibly influencing FDI decisions by multinational companies. The size and scale of FDI is quite important to understand. For example, FDI to developing countries was just under $700 billion in 2018. And those developing and emerging nations account for nearly half of the, of the top 10 countries who are hosts to FDI inflows. That said, global FDI has actually been falling in recent times, but the scale remains enormous, over 1.4 trillion US dollars worth of FDI in the global economy in 2017. So synoptic thinking, what are some of the microeconomic factors influencing FDI decisions? Here are four. Micro, of course, refers to the decisions taken in terms of the uh, at the level of the individual firm or the industry. So a business might consider the labour costs in the labour markets of a country that they're thinking of investing in. Labour costs include wages, obviously, but also include things like employment taxes that firms may have to pay. Businesses may also take into account the level of labour productivity and efficiency, because if you factor in wages and productivity, you get a key measure known as unit labour costs. Businesses thinking about where to invest might also think about at a micro level the cost of land, particularly if they're acquiring some land to build a new factory, a new manufacturing uh, capacity. And they'll also think about the technical expertise and the skills and the mobility of the local labour force when making FDI decisions. A uh, very interesting example here is, the, is where to manufacture your clothing. So if you think about the monthly minimum wage in the garment industry in selected countries, Turkey is a major garment producer, so too China. But in fact, these days, their monthly minimum wage is significantly higher than countries such as Myanmar and Bangladesh, Ethiopia, and even countries like Vietnam. So we're seeing a shift of manufacturing away from countries such as China and Thailand and Indonesia, minimum wages are higher, shifting production, FDI shifting to countries where the unit labour cost is significantly low. A good example would be Bangladesh and Ethiopia. What are the macroeconomic factors? Again, you can't go wrong if you go back to your macroeconomic objectives and macro factors. So clearly one of the major influences will be the rate of corporation tax. Some countries have deliberately cut their corporation tax in a bid to attract FDI. It's not just corporation tax, it could be other tax incentives. For example, uh, tax relief on land purchase, special economic zones where if you locate in a zone, you're able to, to manufacture and export without any, any tax at all for a certain length of time. Now, the key macro factor affecting FDI is the rate of growth of a country. That affects both the, the increase in per capita incomes and the size of consumer markets. Typically, once a country has, let's say, 1%, 1% of global GDP, then the size of the consumer market is sufficiently large to really start attracting a lot of FDI into a country. Trade agreements can also have an effect at a macro level. Increasingly, we're seeing uh, regional trade agreements, perhaps a movement away from globalisation towards regionalisation, where, for example, African, African countries have just agreed a free trade agreement continental free trade area, intra-regional trade deals in Asia. If the cost of trading comes down and if the cost of investment comes down, particularly if you're in proximity to major consumer markets, that is a, a significant attraction for FDI. On the negative side, economic uncertainty can be a negative factor influencing FDI in particular in the UK context, perhaps Brexit uncertainty. In other countries, uncertainty about state acquisition of assets uh, nationalisation of assets without warning, uh, countries where the tax regime is unstable, for example, and also countries exposed to the impact of big geopolitical risks. So when you get a question on FTI, just think about some of the major micro and macro factors that could well influence which countries a, a business chooses to invest in.